Welcome back. Our guest in this segment is Norm Ryder. Norm, you've, you're involved with a uh, WorkSafe uh, case um, that you began over five years ago, um, and it's still, they're still dragging it on. You suffered a serious injury, so maybe you can just tell us where things are at now. Yes, they're still doing nothing with it, finding reasons to delay things, things taking very long. What I have done is that I found a number of other people with a great many complaints about WorkSafe BC and how they handle things. They're just refusing to deal with the facts, bothering, not bothering to investigate claims properly. And in the five plus years I've been looking at this, I've got a number of files from these people that have complaints with WorkSafe BC. Now, because of my particular injury, related to electromagnetic radiation. I've focused more on those ones at the moment. And one thing I found in the investigations is that WorkSafe doesn't investigate properly at all. In some cases, in particular in case of radiation, they don't even understand it well enough to have a competent opinion. And how I found that out was I was looking at them and all the major exposures of radiation were in what they call the near field zone. And this is a zone, depending on the frequency and the size of the antenna, could be up to, uh, well, in my case, uh, one and a half meters away from the antenna. But in that zone, there are special considerations of how you have to measure radiation. And most people's meters, I brought in a meter here to measure radiation, don't measure in the near field zone. They only measure in what they call the far field. Um, if you measure in the near field, it's getting a little technical in the sense it's you have to measure the volts per meter and the amps per meter, which multiply those together you get the power density. This meter only measures volts per meter and it calculates according to standard rules in the far field what the power density is from that. And unfortunately, this is a decent enough meter. Unfortunately, a great many meters don't measure the full distance. And WorkSafe, when they go out on the site to measure the exposure that people had, they don't measure properly either. And then they come to the conclusion with inaccurate readings that the person didn't exceed the exposure. Well. Now, we're all exposed to electromagnetic radiation. It comes from all of our electrical, the entire yeah. electrical system gives it off. Most of us are in low-level exposure. You got a very, very high exposure. My exposure and these other people, you can compare it the same way. It's the same as walking in front of a high-powered radar unit that in a very close range that, I mean, it's my exposure was over three times the amount that the Canadian standards allow. And most people say the Canadian standards are... A thousand times two, too high. Yeah. yeah. So, and I got over three times that. Some of these other people, well, I don't know what their exposure was, but it was considerably worse than mine for a longer period of time. And WorkSafe refuses to sit down and look at the science behind it. That they work on a belief structure that radiation causes no harm even though they can't prove it. Norm, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. thank you. WorkSafe BC seems to be, like so much of our government, a, a disaster that we've got to fix. Thanks for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.